This is how you eat mochis at my house. <laughs> Angel here. Today I'm going to show you how to make green tea matcha bubble waffles. A few videos ago I made regular bubble waffles and I asked you guys what flavors you wanted to see next. Some of you said matcha and some of you also said mochi stuffed. So today I'm going to show you how to make matcha mochi stuffed bubble waffles. Wow that was a huge phrase there. Matcha mochi bubble waffles. And I'm even going to show you how to make it a la mode which is my favorite way to eat these bubble waffles. So I have all my equipment out here. I've got my egg waffle maker, and I also have some mini mochis, which I'm gonna use in this recipe. If you guys don't know where to get mini mochis, sometimes they sell it at your local Asian grocery store, or you can even do what I did, which is buy them online. And I'll post the link to that in the video description below if you're interested. So with that, let's get started. First, the ingredients. For this recipe, we'll start with one cup of cake flour, half a cup of cane sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of matcha green tea powder. Sift the dry ingredients together first with the whisk before adding one teaspoon of vegetable oil or any other neutral flavored oil is fine, two large eggs, a tiny splash of vanilla for extra flavor, and finally half a cup of filtered water. Carefully mix all those ingredients together until well combined before transferring the batter to an easy pour container. When you're done, you should have just under two cups of batter, which is enough to make two large egg waffles. Next, preheat your waffle maker, and when it's ready, spray with a light coating of oil before adding a small amount of batter. Then add in your mini mochis, cover with a bit more batter, and close the lid and flip your waffle maker to let it cook. This should take three to five minutes, depending on how soft or how crispy you like your bubble waffles. When the waffles are done, carefully remove them and let it cool for a few minutes before serving hot. And if you guys want to make this dessert a la mode, you can always make this a super bubble matcha waffle. Add some whipped cream to the top, arrange some sliced strawberries around the side, two scoops of green tea ice cream, and finally topping it all off with a bit more whipped cream then drizzling with chocolate syrup because, <laughs> hey, you only live once. That's how you make matcha bubble waffles with mochi. As you can see, it was super fun and easy to make and it's super delicious. I hope you guys liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also, totally random, I always wonder if you guys are watching till the end of this video. So if you are, let me know what you think of my new haircut. Did anybody notice? Anyways, if you did notice and you like my haircut or even if you don't, post in the comments and let me know and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.